G'day guys, it's your Aussie PC builder here, Corey from Designs by IFR. Today I want to take you guys around the workshop and show you how we take something like this and turn it into something like this. Here at Designs by IFR HQ, we pride ourselves in clean workspaces. This is how we maintain our garage every day. I promise you, we did not just clean it just for this video. We've invested in a number of machines and tools to help with workflow. Since purchasing them, the number of builds that we produce with new techniques has increased dramatically. This does mean, however, more boxes. It's pretty cool though, our living room is like a maze. Our most asked about machine is the 80 watt laser cutter we purchased back in 2016. Wouldn't have a clue what brand name it is, wouldn't have a clue if I purchased the right thing, but for the past four years it's been doing everything that I've asked of it. And for those of you who do like water cooling, this system is actually fully water cooled with its own water chilled system. The laser works by sending plasma beams through the tube which creates the laser at the end. It bounces between numerous mirrors until it is concentrated in the lens and then proceeds to cut out your design. Just don't go using the laser mirrors to fix your hair. Our second most asked about machine is this Shapeoko CNC machine that we recently purchased. It has a one by one meter work area and unfortunately it has to sit on the ground because you have no room to sit it on a bench. This is after all a single car garage. We purchased this to get more into cutting our own case panels and distribution plates. We are still learning but we have the basics down so far. My little brain can only handle so much information. Nobody's actually seen this machine yet, but we just recently purchased a 3D printer. I've absolutely no idea how it works, have no idea about the software, we haven't even fired the thing up yet. I did move the printer bed once and the screen lit up blue. That was pretty exciting. We use a bunch of hand tools and power tools in the shop and we have done since the beginning. Grinders have been an essential tool for us for a lot of cutting and metalwork jobs. The jigsaw was also our very first tool and we used it for pretty much everything. Also in the workshop we have cupboards full of paint and special effects items to help us achieve our desired look. We even had the bright idea of purchasing a compressor and some eyewater spray guns to use auto paint. Had I realised that we had no room to be able to work like that yet, we could have spent that money much better. For now the spray cans will do but we are set up for when we eventually get more space. Now I have absolutely no experience in anything I do. Everything is actually self-taught just by watching YouTube videos. Now I'm sure whenever we're creating these custom PCs, there's professionals there like electricians and painters thinking what complete noob cakes we are. That's probably true, but it gets the job done. Hence why we decided to get ourselves some airbrush guns. Absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but I love shadowing with this stuff. It can actually take a PC build by adding shadows and and create something completely amazing from it. Now, the last thing I wanted to touch on is our supply of scenery, materials, acrylic, and of course, skulls and bits and pieces here that we reuse to create these awesome custom PCs. I always try and save a lot of the mods that we do because you never know when they could come in handy for the next PC build. That's also a good way that we're able to save a lot of cost when it comes to creating these artworks. Now, as you can see over here, we've actually always got a very large supply of acrylic ready to go. In the storage room, this is where we keep a lot of bits and pieces. We've got fans, water cooling gear, hardware, different modding bits and pieces here and there, sleeve cables, and much more. All of this shelf right here is actually full of water cooling fittings that we reuse in the builds to save on a lot of money. The spare bathroom is full of water cooling gear. A shelf dedicated to coolants, and two more shelves dedicated to water blocks, pumps, reservoirs, and all of the extra stuff involved in water cooling. You guys get the idea. We keep all of the main gear and hardware in the office. We actually store majority of our hardware inside of the wardrobe which we tend to use over and over again to save on costs for building these PCs because as you know building PCs could be quite an expensive hobby. And this is how we're able to keep producing new PCs with little to no cost apart from all of the materials that we need to make. So as you guys can see behind me this is my setup. This will be getting redone as well so I'm not going to go too much into depth about the setup around me itself. However, to end this video, I do need to show you guys the TIE Fighter PC, which we built an absolutely amazing build that we still have in our setup because frankly, it took us about two months day and night to do and it is absolutely priceless for us. So I will include that in this video. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll link to the tools in the description if you guys are interested in checking them out in this video. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we also have some new merch. That link will be in the description. This is actually one of my personal favorite hoodies. We have the white overclocked one. Now, when making all of the merch, we actually selected all of the premium options. So it's nice and comfortable. It's fully cotton on the inside and out. So it's going to be really warm and really comfortable. So guys, if you are interested in hoodies, t-shirts or anything else feel free to check that link in the description to our merch store if you would like to support us by becoming a patreon or a member links are in the description helps us out especially at times like these where you know the virus is going around uh, things are very quiet at the moment everyone's out of work we're doing our best to keep on going it is very hard when we cannot get any supplies anymore so your support's greatly appreciated if you do have that spare change I'm very interested to know what your guys' favorite machine was in this video. Please leave it in the comments below. I'll be in the comments replying to you guys. And also, if you like videos like this, consider checking out more videos on the channel because we have lots of custom PCs reviews, lots of modding tutorials, and much more. We'll see you all in the next one.